Burkina Faso, a West African nation, landlocked, proud, and often underestimated, is in the middle of a transformation. A big one. From power plants in sun-drenched fields to high-speed rail tracks slicing across the Sahel, Burkina Faso in 2025 is digging, building, wiring, and dreaming its way into the future. You see, this isn't just about cranes and cement. These are not vanity projects. These are the lifelines of tomorrow. This video is your backstage pass to some of the biggest, boldest, and most ambitious infrastructure projects currently underway in Burkina Faso. We're talking highways, airports, satellite programs, mega solar plants, and even a national space agency. Welcome to Burkina Faso, July 2025. Where the cranes are rising, the sun is powering progress, and the future is, literally, under construction. Let's dive in. 6. Tima, Ouagadougou High Speed Rail Corridor Imagine goods unloaded at Tima Harbor speeding inland on clean, fast rails through Ghana's east to landlocked Burkina Faso's capital in hours, not days. That's the heart of the Tima, Ouagadougou High Speed Rail Corridor, the flagship of the Ghana-Burkina Faso Interconnectivity Project. The first phase of the project, a 96.7km standard gauge line from Tima Harbour to Mpikaden, Akasambo Inland Port, was completed in late November 2024. The second phase consists of extending north via Bipe and Pega, crossing the border to reach Ouagadougou, and closing a 1,200km corridor. This is the spine for freight and passengers between port and capital. The project budget's total is estimated at US$447 million, funded by India's Export-Import Bank, and the Ghana section cost about US$440 million, and besides, Burkina Faso's government covers half the feasibility consultancy fees too. Once links reach Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso can tap into global markets more cheaply. Exports like gold and cotton gain outlets, imports, including fuel and staple goods, cost less. 5. San Brado Underground Expansion Next stop, San Brado, Burkina's flagship gold mine, about 90 kilometers east-southeast of Ouagadougou. Already producing solidly as an open pit mine, it's now going underground at the M5 South Zone. This is Phase 2, deep gold at depth, longer life, and more yield. Owned 90% by West African resources, with Burkina Faso holding 10% carried interest. The underground plan targets about 1.8 million tons of ore at 3.1 G/T, yielding 188,000 ounces of gold over five years from M5 South alone. Estimated pre-production capex is US $20 million to build portals, ramps, equipment, and initial underground work. Mine is self-funded through operating cash flows, there is no external public record of a loan yet. Scoping and design studies were completed in 2024, portal and decline construction is to start in the second half of 2025, with full underground production by mid-2026. Gold is Burkina Faso's leading export, 80% of non-oil exports, over 16% of GDP. By boosting production, San Brado helps stabilize government revenues, foreign reserves, and job creation. 4. Ouagadougou, Donsin International Airport Burkina's current Thomas Sankara Airport sits sandwiched in the city, built in the 1960s, cramped, noisy, and risky. The move to Donsin, 35 km north of Ouagadougou, is a bold leap forward, a brand new international airport built clean, safe, and future-ready. The first phase includes a 3,500m long runway, a 17,000 SQM terminal building, an apron, taxiways, fencing, access roads, and water and sanitation networks. The full site covers about 4,400 hectares. Phase 2, 2026-2030, will expand the runway to 4,000m and double terminal capacity. Total project cost is approximately US$612.3 million. Demolition of the concession by the previous government in early 2023 cancelled a French operator contract, new bidding relaunched, reflects local political sensitivity and control shifts. 
designed to handle up to 1 million passengers slash year in early years, with scalable growth. Also, it removes flight paths from dense urban areas, reducing pollution, accidents, and congestion in Ouagadougou. Besides, a larger runway, 3.5 kilometers, allows heavier cargo planes, supporting exports, the terminal enables more airlines and routes. 3. Gold Refining Facility The story begins in late 2023, when President Ibrahim Traore laid the groundwork for Burkina Faso's first gold refining facility. Built in partnership with Marina Gold, a regional company, this landmark plant will process up to 150 tons of raw gold every year, about 400 kilograms daily, ending a long-standing dependence on foreign refineries. Prior to this, nearly all of Burkina Faso's gold, more than 57 tons a year, was exported to Switzerland, South Africa, or China, largely as raw bars, depriving the country of value-adding revenue and control over its national resources. Although the government has not published a full budget, the refinery is financed by the state through its national mining agency, Societe Nationale de Substances Preciouses, with Marina Gold selected via public tender to co-manage the build. The plant covers several hectares near Ouagadougou and will also host a national jewelry retail center and the agency's permanent headquarters, blending value chain creation with institutional consolidation. The facility is scheduled to begin production roughly 11 months after its November 2023 launch, targeting full operation by late 2024 or early 2025. 2. RN8 National Road Upgrade Further boosting logistics and regional connectivity is the RN8 National Road Upgrade, a sprawling infrastructure push covering 131 kilometers of highway linking Bobo di Lasso through Orodara and Coloco all the way to the Mali border. The $156 million project, funded by the African Development Fund and supported by the African Development Bank, aims to transform a degraded rural corridor into a continental trade route within 12 to 16 months of construction, which began in mid-2024 and is slated to finish by spring or early summer 2025. Beyond time savings, RN8 brings connectivity across communities. Some half a million people in the Houts Basins region will now reach regional hubs more easily, accelerating commerce, encouraging private investment in agriculture and agro-processing, enhancing access to services, and improving emergency access, especially as rural resilience becomes ever more critical. Moreover, by linking to Mali, this road establishes a vital export corridor through West Africa, strengthening trade flows despite security challenges in the Sahel. 1. Burkina Sat 1. While gold and roads reshape the ground, Burkina Sat 1 lifts ambition into the sky. Developed entirely by local engineers at Norbert Zongo University in Kadugu under Professor Frederick Watara's leadership, the 1U CubeSat is Burkina Faso's first satellite. The project began with a ground station built in 2020, 110 million CFA francs, about $200,000 followed by the satellite build and testing phases, and now carries a 2025 launch window. Operational support, maintenance, and mission costs for its 3-5 to five year lifespan are estimated at an additional 350 to 400 million CFA francs, roughly $640,000-740,000, bringing the total national investment to about $1 million. Burkinasat 1's mission is profound, it will deliver Earth observation data for monitoring vegetation health, tracking desertification trends, assessing crop conditions, and mapping terrain for urban planning and disaster response. These capabilities offer a lifeline for a largely agrarian population in a country where 85% depend on farming. The satellite will also bolster weather forecasting and pollution tracking, vital tools in adapting to climate instability in the Sahel. In sum, as 2025 unfolds, Burkina Faso is weaving together major investments. Each project is a milestone, and combined, they drive Burkina Faso's vision to step onto the regional and global economic stage, diversify away from road dependence, deepen mining value chains, attract investors, and improve daily lives with jobs, power, safer transport, and cleaner skies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Please like the video, subscribe, share, and comment.
See you in the next one.